All right, call it. Or my fault. All right, all praises to the Most High God. Whose name is Yahweh. You know I mean, we do so. Name is only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Who are we? We the Sakari set, right? Uh, Sakari Philly, right? Brother Yeramia. Brother Guys, all praises. And we come to uh, edify our people. This is what we do. We do so on the streets. We do so at home. We do so doing these sit downs. We go and reach our people out in all different states to wake our people up and to let our people know when they're going off. Right, because we gotta do it. We can't rely on other nations to wake our people up. The Lord put the spirit on us to do that because we the ones that's gonna do it and do it, you know, the way that He wants us to do it. I mean, you good? I'm good. All right. Yes, I'm saying. There's a book of Colossians, chapter three, verse seventeen. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Right, and that's what we do. We give all glory, honor, and praise to the Most High God, Yahweh, and we do so in the name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, right? And we come to edify our people and, and get on our people, right? We lift our people up, and sometimes we got to ground our people up through the Spirit because guess what? It's it's our people that's bashing our, our, our own heads in, right? We got the other nations, they're a problem to us, but they still want to grind out 60 years out of us. So they may put chemtrails. They may, you know, put GMO food. But they still want to grind us up for another 60 years. Our people want to eliminate us yesterday. Right? So we got to talk about this. You read that real quick. Second Peter. This is the book of Second Peter. chapter 2, verse 12. Come on. But these as natural brute beasts. But these as, as humble men. As natural brute beasts. Our people as natural brute beasts. They some beasts out here. Because what we do to our people, like we don't even got the heart to take a, a, a person out their self. That we just come and hit the whole house up, right? Kids, women, grandmoms is out there, right? We're a bunch of wicked people, and the Lord get on us for that. Read it from the top. Verse 12, but these, as natural brute beasts, come on. made to be taken and destroyed. And they were made and taken to be destroyed. Hold up, hold, hold, hold on them precepts. Get uh, Colossians. I mean, not Colossians, us. Uh, uh, Chronicles, uh, fifteen and uh, thirteen. First Chronicles. Yeah, no second, because we're gonna we're gonna get into that. I mean, we're gonna get into the the wickedness of our people though. Fifteen thirteen. Yeah. Get uh, hold that. Get um. No, get uh, second Peter. Yeah, you matter of fact, yeah, you got matter of fact, then hold that. You get uh, numbers twenty three. Read what you got. The Second Chronicles chapter fifteen verse thirteen. Come on. That whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, come on, should be put to death. Whosoever will not seek the power of Israel shall be what? Put to death. Hold up. Read the verse above it. Verse um twelve. Come on. And they entered into the covenant to seek the Lord Yahweh of their fathers. And we and, all the, and, and, the, and we and we bind the covenant, right? We bind the covenant with the Lord. So you don't got a choice but to seek the Lord. Or you gonna die, right? This is what the Lord's saying. Come on. Start again from top. Yeah. And they entered into the covenant to seek the Lord, Yahweh of, of their fathers, with all their heart Come and on. with all their soul. With all their soul. Verse 13. That whosoever. That whosoever, come on would not seek the Lord Yahweh of Israel should be put to death. So whosoever of you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that don't want to seek the Lord, y'all power, y'all gonna be put to death in these last days. And that's why we're seeing it in great numbers. And so y'all better wake up so at least y'all children can be saved, right? Cause y'all want to say that, well, you know, I already gave up on myself, so I'm, I'm just worried about my kid. Yeah, listen, if you really worried about your kid, you'll do the right thing and, and be converted. You know what I'm saying? And to this good gospel. So, uh, no, so who, who you, you got? That? No, uh, matter of fact, read, uh, what's that, 13? Yeah. Uh, read 13 again. A second count of Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. The whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh of Israel should not, it should be put to death. And the Lord not playing. He said, if you won't seek the power of Israel, you should be put to death. Read what you got, 23 and 19, numbers. 
Come, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. Still hold it. The Come Most on. High is not a man that he should lie. The Most High not a man that he should lie. He said you're going to get put to death if you don't seek him. Right? So read what you got. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Right, and he not a, just a mortal man that he that he going to repent. Come on. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Have he, had a Most High guy ever said something and then didn't do it? Come on. Or have he spoken, and it's... And shall he not make it good? And and had the Most High God never came through on His word, if He said you're going to die for not keeping His commandments, then you're going to die, right. right? So get uh Second uh, Peter three and nine. Uh, this is the book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse nine. Get uh Second Ezra five. Come on. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. The Lord ain't slack concerning His promise. Y'all better follow the Lord in these last days. Come on. Uh -huh. Concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Right, the most high God not counting slackness. He not hold up, you know, let me borrow 20 today. I got you on Friday. Oh, dang, man, that's my bad. My job kept me an hour late, so I can't come and get you that dub back. Like, the most high God not about that. He said he going to put you to death on Friday, and that's what he going to do. Come on. But as long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And y'all better come to repentance and come to this light, like how the brother just uh, said in this other video, right? Y'all better come to this light, because there's nothing out here but darkness, right? And our people like that, and we run to it, and and, and, and grave numbers. But let's still talk about the wickedness of our people. So get uh um, First Maccabees, uh, chapter 11. Read what you got, 2nd Ezra 5 and 8, come on. Okay, this is 2nd Ezra um, 5, verse 8. And it says, there shall be a confusion also in many places. And we see confusion in Babylon, right? That's what Babylon means. It means the land of confusion. We see right. that, right? All, all this uh, uh, whoredom going out, all this uh, gender crossing. I, I was uh, um, a woman trapped in a man's body type of rhetoric. Read. And the fire shall, shall be off, off sent out Come on. again. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Come on. And menstruous women. And unclean women, right, spiritually and physically, come on, shall bring forth monsters. And we seeing little demons running around, right. right, that don't know how to shoot, that don't know how to handle their business. And they and their business is to respect their parents, right? Their business is to uh, seek the uh, Lord in sincerity and in truth, right? And in high level of fear, right? Um, what you got? 11, read 21. Nah, this is the book of First Maccabees, chapter 11, verse 21. Get uh, Exodus, chapter 2, come on. Then certain ungodly persons. Then a what? Then certain ungodly persons. And this is an ungodly person, right, that want to go around and say, Trump gave me a, a stimulus check of $1,200, so now all of a sudden, you know, Caucasians ain't that bad, uh -huh. right? Come on. Who hated their own people. That they what? Who hated their own people. And our people is the people that, that can't stand our people the most. Right? You can go to Chinatown. They can't stand uh, each other. But I guarantee you, before they sell you that Chinese store that's in your neighborhood, they're going to give it to another Chinese person. Right. It may not be their niece, their they nephew, but they're going to make sure it stay within the brand or within that bloodline. Right? And we don't think like that because we don't have that genuine love for each other. We only have genuine love for the people that's oppressing us. But the Lord is raising up a certain uh, group of men. That's what we've seen in uh, Isaiah. Well, or is, no, read it from the top. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 11, verse Exodus 21. To, uh, chapter 2, verse 11, come on. Then certain ungodly persons who hated their own people. Who did what? Who hated their own people. And, they, and these people, they hate their own people, right? Come on. Went unto the king and told him that Jonathan besieged the tower. Uh, no, matter of fact, that's still on that. And that's what I'm saying, that our, our own people hit on people, get Amos, Amos uh, 9 and 8, right? Let's go, on, let's go into some history, because our people, we used to have a certain level of uh, of uh, love for each other, right? We used to have a certain level of love for each other, and we've seen that, and it's going to come back again. So uh, read what you got. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 2, verse 11. Come on. And Moses said unto Yahweh, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh? And that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. You said 11? No, come on. I'm, like, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, verse 12. And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee when thou hast brought forth 
the people of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon the mountain. Right, and we and we're gonna serve the Lord in these last days, those who was meant to, right? And and everybody not gonna get uh, brought to it. But you know, this is what the Lord God said. You read Amos not uh nine and eight. Come, this is the book of Amos, chapter nine, verse eight. Deuteronomy twenty eight fifty four. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. And there's no kingdom more sinful than America right now. Come on. That's right. And I will destroy it from far and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And that's coming. Like America gonna get destroyed from off the face of this earth. I know I know er I know everybody wanna I know everybody wanna uh love and stop and hope the best, right? But this place, uh, all your so-called American dreams is going to become ashes, right? For these missiles, come on. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Right, saving, I won't destroy utterly the house of Jacob, come on. Save the Lord, verse nine, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel. I will command and sift the house of Israel, come on. Among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the seed. Right. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And and return to the Lord. So you cannot be that least grain that fall upon the earth. I'll drop what you got and read uh, uh, 54. This is book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 54. Go back so that the man that is tender among you mm -hmm. and very delicate. And we know that this is the curses. It was saying that the man that's tender among you because we used to have a level of love for our people. Right? But when you actually look at it, this is going into these... Uh, uh, so-called thugs and these gangsters read it from the top so that the man that is tender among you so that the man that is tender among you a lot of our brothers been um, mama's boy right they've been raised up um, effeminate right and even the so-called ones that that think that they are uh, tough right you're not so tough that you gonna blast your brother in the face for stepping on your jays but then all of a sudden you know you had this 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 cracker who had your big mama and slavery, but you ain't going, you got no problem against him, right? So you soft and tender when it comes to them, but you don't have that, that tender love when it comes to your own people, come on. And very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. And our people got a demonic eye towards our own people. We can't even stand each other. Like when we just look at each other, we don't even wish each other well, right? But the Lord is putting a different spirit in this earth today. And he's, ch and he's changing boys into men. Right, he's, he's raising up boys and he's turning them into men from boy state of mind into um, men state of mind, right? And raising up leaders. So, read that again, uh, 12. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter 2, verse 12. Is that right? But 13 these, and 8. as natural beasts, that these is what? As natural, as natural brute beasts, as these, as natural brute beasts, right? These so called thugs. And this is why the Lord switched, flip flop the spirit of uh, thugs, right? It stopped being ice cube. Uh, Tupac, right? It stopped being these uh, brothers, and it started being what? Now, uh, Sakashi uh, six, six nine, right? The bull with um, um from Philly. Yeah, you know I mean, like now with purple hair, like these is y'all thugs now with purses, right? So yeah, you know I mean, so it, it's just saying that this is a, a, a not a, a good spirit to be in because it's not you're not actually being a uh, 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 tough to anybody else but to your own people. And guess what? The Lord ain't, the true men of the Lord, we not fearing death. Matter of fact, drop what you got, get Acts 21, right? The spirit of the Lord is on certain brothers and we not uh, fearing death, right. right? So read it from the top. This is the book of 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. But these as natural brute beasts. But these as natural brute beasts, come on. Made to be taken. Made to be what? Made to be taken. Y'all made to be taken in these last days. Thus save the Lord, come on. And destroy. And what? And destroy. And y'all going to die, right? Thus save the Lord. Unless y'all turn to them in sincerity and in truth, right? So, um, what you got? Okay, go to Acts 21. 21 and read, uh, read verse 10. Start at 10. This is the book of Acts chapter 21, verse 10. Come on. And as we tarried there many days, there came down from Judea a certain prophet named Agabus. Come on, it's a prophet. It's a prophet that came to see Paul. Come on. Verse 11. And when he was come unto us, he took Paul's girdle and bound his own hands and feet. Right. And said, Thus saith the Holy Spirit, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man that owneth this girdle. And who had the girdle? It was Paul. So this prophet came and was showing uh, Paul uh, a sign that was... Uh, uh, bound to happen to him, 
right? So what did Paul uh, uh, say? Hold up. So, dang, if this is going to happen to me, yeah, you know I mean, I'm going I'm to go uh, left then. Since you telling me not to go right, that is danger going right. Let's see what the brother was, uh, what the brother did. And shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. Verse twelve. And when we heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. So they they thought that the brother Paul right wouldn't go to Jerusalem because he was hearing about this trouble that would befall him. But what did Paul say? Come on, verse, verse 13. 13. Come on. Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? So what what, what did y'all brothers come here to break my heart? Right? Y'all y'all came here to break my heart as if I'm not going to do the will of the Lord. Come on. For I am ready not to be bound only. I'm, I hold up. I'm not willing to be locked up only what? But also to die. But also to what? But also to die. And you got brothers ready to die for this truth. Like this ain't no game. Like we not worried about so-called thugs and all these and all these demonic uh forms that y'all got on yourself. Right? We willing to die for this truth. Thus save the Lord. That's right. You, you got something? Uh then just get uh second Timothy one and uh one and seven. Right? Because the Lord, the Lord ain't giving us no spirit of fear. Right? He putting strong brothers up in these last days. And we uh I'm gonna rock out with this. Um get Luke. Luke uh 13, 13 and 3. Yeah, come on. This is the book of Second Timothy, chapter one, verse seven. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear. No, no, no. God, God made us tremble at our enemies. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear. So the Most High God didn't give us no homosexual spirit. Read on. But a spirit of power. But a spirit of what? Of power. Mm -hmm. And of love. And of what? Of love. And we supposed to love each other. This is what the Lord said. Right, we supposed to love the Most High God in sincerity and in truth, and we supposed to love what He gave us, which is each other. Right, the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and that's it. Come on, and of sound mind, and of a sound mind, and that's why we out here and we got a sound doctrine, and we can't get confounded. Thus right. saith the Lord. Uh, read uh, verse uh, thirteen, Diamond Salakia, verse three. This is the Book of Luke, chapter thirteen, verse three. I tell you, nay, but Except ye repent. Except ye what? Except ye repent. Except ye repent. Come on. Ye shall all likewise perish. And all and all y'all out here, y'all gonna perish if y'all not gonna do the will of the Lord. Right? And that's what we saying. Turn to the Lord in fear and sincerity. In fear and sincerity. That's what we begging y'all to do. Right? And with that, you know, we wanna just say uh all praises to the most high God for delivering us out of this darkness world, right, and delivering us into his marvelous light. You know, I want to say death to America. Death to America. Death to America. Shalom.